welcome back for a new episode. This is World PvP episode 19 and we are almost at the end of this map. It is going to end the 10th December and there is 6 days from there that uh, the staff will take actions and do the changes and stuff and hopefully the server will be up the 16th December and I hope to see you guys on there. There's gonna be a recruiting application down in the, down in the description. Go ahead and make sure you recruit for my faction as well. Now, when that is said, I'm here in Sourzvade. I got the permission from the owner himself to check out this unwaitable base that haven't been waited one single time and is currently F top and probably gonna win the F top unless somebody can wait them in five days. But right here we see what the happened. This is the lower, uh, yes, this is the lower thing of the base. It looks like it's already been inside it by someone. Um, I'm not really sure what happened down here, uh, but it is, it is for sure completely uh, dead and there's nothing, nothing down here whatsoever. Uh, so that's the whip. Anyways, if you go up here, we see there's, I don't know what this is. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's hoppers going on over right here. Oh, that's an ID farm. Or oh, was an ID, but there's nothing really here. Oh, there's a little bit of IDs. All right. There's a small amount of IDs, and you have like a path over here, which is pretty cool. Oh, I like this. Like combines shit. Um, in here, there's crafting tables. There's a ladder going down. Uh, there's probably still have stuff in here. Oh yeah, there's still stuff in here. There's lots of stuff in here. And in here, there's not that's not really anything in here. Uh, beside a small small crap, but nothing else in that. So that's that entire thing right. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Yep. In here, I don't know what's here. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of cool as well, like an like an iceberg some, somewhere. And the IDs in here. Oh, dang. That is so compressed. Does it even drop anything? Oh, yeah, it actually does. It actually does a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. And over here, I assume there's something... Okay, no, that, there's nothing there. Um, I don't know who lives here, though. It just looks to me it's kind of abandoned. Oh, okay, so there's chest down here uh, that's not closed off for some reason. Uh, and that's just about it. Uh, and of course, right here, there's those little chests. I don't know what that is, though. And I think that just the entire bottom floor that they have. Oh, God, there's a lot of spawners. That's a lot of spawners. Um, I do seem to get an FPS to our white here for some reason. Um, so you must have a lot of spawners somewhere. I don't know what this is. This is probably the squid farm or something. But again, they, they did. Alright, okay. I froze, but he did get inside of this bottom layer, so who knows what will be down there. In here, we already pure, pretty sure we checked that already. Over here, we have. Uh, okay, so it it's it makes that for them. And what is this in here? Nothing. And chests, chest your womb. Um. Oh, what is this? Oh, I like this. This is more. This is kind of cool. Um, I don't know how to... Oh, you have to go to that and into this. Ah, alright. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool as well. It's a small vault though, there's not really much in there. Um, uh, this in here looks completely destroyed. Uh, but it looked like it was pretty cool. Um, not really sure why we haven't seen that before. But let's go up to this layer right here. There's not really much here. Yeah, we do have small rooms. Holy shit, an FPS drop. Um, uh, chest plus, oh, okay, so this, I assume this is one more vault. Um, do you definitely have something here? Holy fuck! Alright, that's a lot of skeletons and endermans and uh, all kind of shit. Hello, if you're reading this, then you have probably already realized the inflicts on your FPS. If you would like to TP out, then that is completely fine. If you would like to, to contribute to the FPS rape room, please let us know. <laughs> no, you can message one of us above it if you want. Feel free to enjoy the lack or donate. Thanks for thanks from the leaders of Sour. Enjoy your stay. P.S. I love you. Holy shit, that is a lot of spawners. Oh my god. And it definitely does something with my FPS. Holy shit. Now, over here, I'm pretty sure that was the, yeah, that was the same old, I haven't seen this over here though. Pretty sure this is blazes, oh yeah it is, it's definitely a lot of blazes. 
uh, it's just filled up with junk uh, uh, of all sorts which is pretty cool um have you checked this yes all right we haven't checked this over here i'm pretty sure uh, nope that's just empty of course the weight room is here close to i just want to make sure that i have every single uh yeah i do all right the next room is right here and i see the extremely amount of hoppers somewhere holy shit and am i lacking holy god that's a lot of pigments just look at it holy shit that but that makes a ton of money holy fuck and this right here is the creepers again it's gonna make a massive amount of money oh my and the shining tables definitely makes it worth it the lag is just completely destroying me and in here we have the IDs holy shit that's a lot of IDs uh, if you go down you will see that it probably drops oh my god the lag is so real just look at all those IDs spamming oh god I need to get away from here but just look at it just just look at how much fucking hopper systems they have it's absolutely destroying everybody's FPS that ever gets close to this. Um, they definitely have enough money, uh, no doubt about it. And TNT, they definitely not need TNT either. I do want to see if I can find the TNT room, uh, just to make sure uh, they, they store it somewhere. And maybe they just completely... Uh, yeah, this must here be the TNT storage room. It just looks a little bit messy, but this must be the... It just look like they, they can't even be bothered to pick it up anymore. Like, it's just filled all the way. Uh, so, they must have enough TNT, and it's just spread it all over the place. Uh, so, they're definitely the top faction, for sure. You can definitely tell that on how much stuff they have just laying around and it's absolutely just look that like it's just so filled up with everything there's just no coming back uh the i'm pretty sure they would not be able to sell all this uh on one night holy shit holy shit that's a lot of fucking money and that is probably why the f top one uh it's always fun to, to see the f top one just before the server ends uh mainly because you see how much progress you made, and now that they're at the top fact, you'll see uh, that they do what they have. Um, and, and just a massive amount of spawners. Just look at all those pigments and IDs. It definitely makes these guys the F-top faction. And not of the last, like, they haven't been raided one single time. I tried, I tried a lot in all different time zones, but these guys were impossible to raid. And of course, if they, ha if they don't have the worry of being raided, Glade Star Insider, then of course, this is what exactly it would look like. It, this is just absolutely amazing. You see all of this. This is, this is a huge... Uh, now to the Sour Patch Kits. Sour Patch Kits. Alright. And now they of course have a full buffer. I'm not really sure what they're doing over here. Uh, it seems like they're doing something with the uh, tier... I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. In here, I'm not sure I'm allowed to go in there. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is not this is not us. Never mind. Um, this is someone else. And of course, you have all the walls. You have this check wall. Uh, no, this is the filters. All right. And you have filters again over here, and then again over here, and then again over. No, all right, that was the last one. All right. And of course, you have the checkbox, which is right here. Uh, and of course, this is what this is what caught us so many times. Only, like, we only got, like, 50 walls in, and that was with the... Uh, I'm pretty sure we had Downy to help with, help with that. Uh, so these guys were impossible to raid. Uh, we tried in all different time zones. It was... It was... It could it could not be done. Um, and I don't know. I'm not sure what is going on here. You need to get this shit together. I am staying up to 3 a.m. in the morning again. Either get on at the right time, or I'm just gonna log. I have shit to do IRL. Alright, well, it seems like the, at this moment, uh, close to the end of this season, uh, they have some issues themselves, or not really, but this right here is the end of their claims. Yes, this is the end of their claims, um, 
but the base itself is unweightable. It hasn't been weighted one single time the entire series. Um, and of course, that makes these guys the F-top 1. They haven't been uh, incited either or glitched or whatsoever. So they are definitely the the, the faction that uh, that deserves the F-top because they really worked their way up to get this going. Um, as you see at the world body here, it uh, does seem like they have, yep, they have one layer behind it. I don't know if that's how they didn't get a glitched, but anyways, if you go down to the base, you see the, the blazes and stuff like that is still, is still up. Uh, pretty much burning all the F-top you possibly can, and hopefully they will end up with 3 billion at the end of the map, um, which is absolutely insane. Uh, that seems like they did a little bit of the reverse layers, but didn't really want to finish or something like that. Uh, they haven't really finished much. Uh, okay, well, never mind. They have. Uh, they definitely did a lot down here as well. Which probably makes these guys. These guys kind of quit doing the, the job on them when they realized they're not going to get raided or something like that. They probably uh, told themselves not to. Uh, what is. Oh, yeah, that was the f faction not on our side. Uh, but this was the top one faction, guys. And hopefully I covered the entire base. Hopefully I'm not missing anything uh, important. Uh, hopefully not. I, I don't see many vaults though. The vaults is kind of limited. Um, it seems like they don't really have like a, a serious place for their vaults. And everything is just completely obbied. Uh, so even if you are supposed to inside, the chance of you being able to do much is, is, is small. Uh, but all in all, this do not TP any member here. Faction spawners keep all door closed. All right, uh, and this is where it goes into all the spawners, I guess. Ah, uh, all right. Ah, uh, all right, all right, like that. All right. Well, I think that was the top faction here on World TPP at the end of the map. I want to congrats Sour slash Nuke for winning this. Uh, F top event, I, I don't know, and and definitely outburned every other single faction with almost three billion of spawners and goodies. You guys definitely deserve the prize coming for you. I want to congratulate you guys, and it was fun playing with you guys. Now, when that is set and we got uh, the F top one solid out and the base two out, I want to talk a little bit about what's going to happen. I know this is episode 19, but we are going to talk a little bit about um, next map, and we're going to talk about when it uh, it uh, resets and stuff like that. So if you haven't heard before, uh, as I started in the first of the video here, it's going to be the 10th December. That's going to be the closure of the map. However, um, there's going to be a raid event the 12th December. I'm not really sure how that's going on. Um, not really sure. Uh, but there's going to be a 12th December. It's going to be a raid event. So go make sure to check that out on the website. It's going to be down below in the description. Um, but it's going to be the 10th December. That they're going to have six days to implement all the changes and stuff like that. And hopefully this will come up again the 16th December uh, with a new map, new changes. Changes, new faction plugin and hopefully new kits and, and, and the rules and a lot of new changes uh, but I want to go into the faction plugin because you know uh, if you if you followed my faction close or if you've been playing we know you know that we've been glitched maybe 50 times a hundred times maybe and we've been inside it four times and and to be honest uh, I'm pretty sure one of the insights was an exploit uh, where somebody used an exploit of the homes to use the old home where they were not in the faction of course that shouldn't be allowed and we lost all our shit uh, but I'm not going to talk about that guys that's out of the picture now we're going to go ahead and talk about next map so next map all that is going to be changed there's going to be a new faction plugin there's gonna go from recruit, then there's gonna be member, uh, officer, co-leader, and of course the owner of the server. So that goes like this. So the recruits will not be able to build blocks, uh, open doors, use buttons, use levers, uh, change description, change ta the tags, or, or, or something like that. No, they will not be able to do anything at all. Then there's the member. The members is not is, is the kind of the same as recruits, but they are able to build. That's the only thing they have perms to is to build, and that is kind of a huge change because the last map you were you were needed to be mods uh, to be able to to build in someone's land uh, unless you have owned them, of course. Uh, other than that, then we have the officer. Uh, that's basically the same as mod this season here. And then we have the co-leader. Uh, that's gonna have the same perms as the uh, like the owner of the faction server or faction 
Uh, and he'll be able to kick mods if that's what he needs to, or promote to mods, uh, and stuff like that. So, other than that, then we have the co-leader, and as I said, uh, the co-leader is basically the leader. He has the same perks as the leader or the creator of the... the or the creator of the faction. Of course, uh, there is some smaller changes um, in that, but uh, not really much. I'm pretty sure officer this time will not be able to f unclaim all or change the description or sorry the tag of the faction uh, or the name of the faction if you prefer it that way. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of other stuff, uh, and I'm going to make episode 20 all about next. Uh, maps changes and hopefully we will be able to cover everything in that video uh, but this right here was episode 19 and I kind of just quickly want to show you guys uh, the base of of uh, the unwaitable faction and F top 1 faction knock or sour as you were called and um, then of course go ahead and let you guys know when the reset date is and let you guys know that I'm gonna uh, need more people for next map and I'm pretty sure that is just about it. Um, I want to go into a little bit of uh, why we quit. We quitted like two weeks ago or one week ago or something like that. Um, and it's kind of been going downhill in a long time because of all these glitches happening. We got glitched every day uh, basically and all the, the, the our vaults uh, IDs got creepbacked and there was no way to track them. Uh, so we lost all our IDs, multiply times, inside of multiply times, and of course that's not an excuse for, for quitting, but kind of a little bit, because people didn't really were as active as they used to, and then of course nobody were checking walls, I was kind of the only one checking walls um, in, in a certain time zone. Uh, so of course that that didn't last long. Um, so when we were going to uh, move all our IDs and spread them out around in the vaults, uh, we got raided the day I told the faction I'm not gonna check walls at six in the morning. We got raided and we lost all our creepers, endermans, and pigments. And then from there, then people just kind of yeah, well. Yeah, nobody sold the stuff, we didn't gain any F top. Uh, they were just PvPing, and, and that's completely fine if you guys, if, if those guys were like tired of the map, then go ahead and and, and do that. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, sit here and get angry over that. Uh, but basically that was the end, and of course that's kind of sad, but that's what happened. But at least we made it to episode 20, which is, that's pretty cool, right? Episode 20, that's, that's pretty cool. At least uh, as far. Uh, as I've gotten, uh, it's episode 20 now, and so we have set up our new goal next map, hopefully we'll be able to do some more episodes, and uh, hopefully we will be able to uh, to be more playable with you guys, talk with you guys, and stuff like that. So episode 1, uh, season 2, it's going to be a lot of changes, there's going to be a lot of new on this server guys, and there's going to there's some changes that's not even... Uh, mentioned in the change log uh, that I will be showing you in the video. So hopefully you guys will watch that video. That's going to be episode 20, uh, updates and changes. Um, and hopefully I'll see you there. And remember to subscribe uh, to um, recruit for my faction. Uh, that's going to be a link down in the below as well for that. Um, but I think that's just about it. If you enjoyed this video here, like the video, comment down below for any questions, issues you might have whatsoever. And as always, guys, subscribe to my channel. My name is Texter, and I'm out. Again, thank you guys for watching this video here. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can show your support by subscribing to my channel. Before you leave me, go ahead and check out the two previous videos on the screen right now. Also, make sure to check out my website, mtweather.net, where there's over 100 schematic downloads of cannons, boosters, sand compressions, and much, much more. All the cannons I release can be found on OneShot MC's cannon server, so make sure to check that out.